Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I want to give a special shout out to John De La Rose for doing this on his channel because he actually inspired me to do this video tonight because I couldn't think of anything and well, I've actually done this exact thing for a couple other graphic novels out there. I've done this for Crimson Wren and before that I did it for Isom. So now we are revisiting Shad M. Brooks or as you know him more popularly, Shadiversity. We're going to cover how he is blowing the doors off of the modern mainstream comic books by collecting collecting a massive amount on his uh, crowdfund. I think, I'm pretty sure this is a crowdfund. Who knows? I, I, anyway, without any further ado, tonight's beer is the Peach Stand Rambler by Odell Brewing. If you guys have never had an Odell beer, you guys haven't lived. I've had many Odell beers in my past and they are always fantastic. And this here is a peach style blonde ale. One of my favorites. Mm. Oh, oh, I like my beer the way I don't like my women. I like my beer to taste good and, you know, oh, no, wait, no, that's bad. Nope, never mind. I was trying to make a joke like my wife's not a blonde and I, I like, I like, I, I don't like blondes. I'm not, that's not my thing. I, my wife, it, anyway, I, I, I like blonde ales. Fuck me. That was terrible. Fucking Anyway, let's get into this. You guys can make fun of me later down in the comments, but let's get into this. Blowing the doors off of the mainstream media comics. We are 178,781 US dollars. That is an absolutely insane amount, and he is gathering a massive amount of support, and it doesn't seem that it's being covered by a lot of people outside of channels like myself, outside of channels like John Della Rose, who uh, does try to shout out. Uh, watching his video tonight, I actually found out that he is uh, acquaintances uh, uh, with the artist who actually did this, and John Della Rose seems to have the good good on the information because he got a they got a sneak peek at this, so good for him. Obviously, everybody knows that Shad Books wrote Shadow of the Conqueror, uh, his uh, novel, and uh, did that a year or two ago. Can't remember off the top of my head. And decided that he wanted to get into the graphic novel format using his own novel. I think that is such a fantastic idea. I already did an initial video on this, which Night's Watch, Shad's second channel, actually shared that video, so I am utterly thankful for that that was such an amazing thing for them to do obviously a, a small channel no name none of these guys know who i am for them to do that is, is so fantastic why am i doing this video because we have to build fan culture around this we have to build the fan culture around the guys that we support and the gals that we support if you guys know any good gals that are doing great artwork or great graphic novels send them my way too or just you know good novels in general and if i can check them out i'll go for it but the reason that these videos are so utterly important and to talk about the hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars that he's gotten is because we need to show that there is support out there for these guys He's selling this for $25. Obviously, there's the, the leather bound version, which is uh, a lot, a lot more, uh, which I want the leather bound version. I don't know if I'll be able to buy this by the time, but we want to make sure that we're covering this and building that fan culture and getting people excited. That is why we do this. That is why it's so fantastic that Shad is gaining the support that he is gaining. I wish that Shad and I wish that Clownfish TV could garner the support and all the people out there who are looking for good storytelling could get as much as Eric July did. But I think Eric July did something hugely important. He showed how the industry could work on a certain level and, and on a different level in a different way. And Shad has already said the book is done. All he has to do is pay for printing and get it out to people. Clownfish TV, they have a totally different way that they do it. They do a crowdfund, but their book is already done. All you are doing with that crowdfund is supporting the next book. So your support for their current book is actually support for the next book and keeps them going, which I think is fantastic. And this is what we need to show the mainstream DC and Marvel comics is that these guys out here who are just going for good storytelling, who are just going for strong characters and a return to the basics in a lot of ways are the ones who are going to win. And the reason they're going to win is because they have the support of the fans. We have to, as fans, 
create YouTube channels to cover this stuff. We have to create blogs. We've got to create um, uh, news articles about them. There needs to be a news website out there that's covering this stuff. I mean, hell, if I had the resources and to pull that off, I would. I just don't. But that's the big thing that we need to make happen. I was blown away because I think this was only at like $50,000 last time I, I looked at this. I would have to go to my previous video and check that out. But $178,000, he is over. He's 178% of his $100,000 that he set. That shows that we are looking for good storytelling and we are getting into what is important here and what is important now that i switch my camera over because i have to look the biggest thing that is important with all of this is that we are building a fantasy realm for people to escape to you know i was watching Rakeda law uh his live stream that he did last time i was listening to that as i was driving around for my day job and one of the things that he had mentioned is that these people don't want a place for you to go. They don't want a place for you to escape. You have to be locked in to this dismal reality that they think that they've created for everybody because their whole goal is to make sure that they control your existence. And when guys like Shad, when guys like Ripa, when people like Clownfish TV are coming out and creating fantasy for you to have a good place to escape to in your mind, to give your mind a break from whatever reality it is that you are dealing with, good bad or indifferent that is something that these people can't stand that's why their hatred runs so deep for the creatives who don't narratively go along with them is because they are giving people an out from the day to day they're giving people an out from politics they're giving people an out from the cultural war that's going on right now and it is so important for us to support all these so i think that by these guys coming out and doing this and creating this they are doing the front end. They're the tip of the spear. We have to be the good fans who are willing to shout it out, talk about it, repeat, talk about it, be super fans about it. Because guess what? I am excited about all this. I don't really have the money to buy all of it because I still have to make things run around here. But that's what's so important here. So if you guys check out this video and you can go support Shad. I might not be able to do it. I, I I just don't know. I might not be able to go and buy the book. But you know what? If I can't buy the book, but I can send some people over there to buy the book, then at least I can support him in that way. So go buy the book if you have the means to do it. Support these creators who are giving us fantasy that allows us escapism once again, that allows us to enter that world inside of our own mind, inside of our own minds, to create that happiness, the joy, the and in some stories, the pain and the suffering and those ray of human emotions that we need to experience on a whole where the mundane day to day and maybe the nine to five doesn't give us. That's why story is so important is because it gives us the ability to think in ways that we can. It gives us the ability to feel in ways that we don't. And it gives us the ability to experience more of who we are. So we as fans need to support this stuff. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. Thank you all so much for checking out these videos. I do appreciate it. And I hope that these guys go to the moon, come back down to earth, and then go back up to the moon again. I hope that these guys keep on the trajectory. They keep on doing what they're doing. And we need to do our part as fans. Support them with our money. Support them with our shout outs. Support them with our enthusiasm and just make sure that we build this fan community the way that the DC and Marvel fans are. Because you know what? We already have that enthusiasm inside of us from what DC and Marvel used to be. All we have to do is just point it in a little bit of a different direction. And it's not even that big of a different direction. It's still comic books. It's still graphic novels. It's still good writing. It's still storytelling. It's just from different people. So let's take our fan excitement and point it towards these guys and show them that we love what they're doing. We're excited to see what they're doing. And we just hope that we can get them into the mainstream. These guys are already the mainstream. More people watch these guys than watch the nightly news. More people watch these guys on a daily basis than watch the you know coverage on probably the Marvel and DC stuff. Hell, maybe not. I could be wrong on that one. Probably am. 
but let's get them there if they're not there already. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. If you guys like what I do here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Go down in the link below and join the Gilded. We've got a great community over there. People talking about their work days. People talking about their doggos, their animals, life. We've got D&D &D stuff going on over there. We're going to get a D&D &D campaign going on over there on Gilded. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we may actually record that and then uh, put this D&D &D campaign up on YouTube. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.